Hey people, this is Siberius. In today's video, we're going to be doing Tokyo Ghoul on Try Hacking. And by the way, uh, before we start, as you can probably already tell, I'm going to be doing this box in uh, English. And uh, most of my future videos in English as well, probably because of uh, popular demand. Enough talking, let's go ahead and root this box. Make sure you're connected to your VPN, deploy the box and get your target IP from here. We're going to go ahead and run Rust scan to find the uh, op uh, open ports, dash sc for version enumeration, sc default scripts, on for an output in the nmap directory called all ports. As you can see, we have uh, three ports open. By default, 22 is SSH, 21 is FTP, and 80 is HTTP. We're going to go ahead and visit the uh, website to see what we are uh, dealing with. Uh, Kankanik is a regular high school teenager who decides to go on a date with a girl named blah 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 Okay, so this is basically the uh, story for Kaneki from the Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Ghoul anime There is a jsonroom.html if you go ahead and visit that view the source code there is a comment that um, As you can see indicates we have anonymous access enabled on the FTP server So we're gonna go ahead and make it FTP direct FTP directory CD into it and connect to the uh, FTP server using anonymous credentials as you can see login successful running lsla gives us a need help directory which again we can cd into there is a uh, .txt file which we can transfer to our uh, attacker machine and uh, talk with me directory and our nmap scan is about to be finished as you can see up there Running ls gives us a um, need to talk executable and a JPEG file. So we can go ahead and transfer both of them to our box again. As you can see, the port 80 is HTTP, 22 is SSH, and 21 is FTP with uh, anonymous access enabled. Okay, let's go ahead and cut out this .txt file. Why are you so late? I've been waiting for too long. So I heard you need to know the PGS. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing important here. Let's go ahead and give execute um, execute permissions on the uh, um, need to talk binary. Run it and see what it is. Hey, Kaneki, finally you want to talk. Unfortunately, before I can give you the, uh, the thingy, you need to give me the paraphrase. Do you have what I'm looking for? Do I? Hmm, I don't think this is what I was looking for. Take a look inside of me. Okay, we're not gonna do that, but we're gonna run Ltrace on it because I've already done this box. As you can see, it's putting the characters over here and it's probably gonna be asking us for the paraphrase here, as you can see. And if we just throw anything at it and actually kill the Ltrace program, um, you can see that uh, it compares the thingy that we've thrown at it with the actual paraphrase with the uh, str compare uh, function. So this is the actual key that we need. If you go ahead and run the binary again and give it the actual key. <clears throat> yes, I do. You can see that I believe this is what you came for gave uh, gives us a you found it something like a passphrase. Since we have a .jpg file, uh, we can run a stack hide on it. If I can type uh, extract sf stickle file on this jpg file with the passphrase that we just got, and you can see that uh, wrote extract the data to you got me. If we go ahead and cut out this you got me file. Haha, <laughs> uh, you're so smart, Kaneki, but can you talk my code? Okay, if we don't, secret directory. This looks like Morse code, so we can uh, use CyberChef, which I already fired up over here, to decode it. Um, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Wait. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was confused for a second. Okay, so there is a directory center directory as it, uh, as the uh, Riza said, the character over here. We can go ahead and view it and see what we got. 
if I type it correctly. Scan me, scan me, scan all my ideas. Okay, say less. Go buster directory. Uh, on this URL with the wordless user share. Wordless derp comment.txt. Uh, derp comment.txt. Of course, dash u. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a claim directory. If you go ahead and view it, we're gonna get a. Uh, so you are here, you make the decision, you really want the power. Yes, I do. No, I don't. So basically, these are the same. As you can see, uh, we could have LFI over here with some basic payload trying to cut out password, Etsy password. Uh, it says, no, 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 silly, don't do that. So basically, it's filtering the dots over here, as you can see. After spending some time on it, when I first was uh, doing the box, I found this great resource over here from WFuzz or VFuzz, which has uh, LFI payloads. And if you use a HTML URL encoded one, like so, and as you can see, here are the references, a dot transfers into this and a forward slash or whatever this is translates uh, into this. So if you go ahead and use that payload, as you can see, we can access um, the uh, password on the backend uh, system, which is we basically have uh, LFI, local file inclusion. There is a user, Kamishiro, with uh, their hash here. So if you go ahead and copy this, and use John with um, Rock you to um, actually crack the hash. We can have their password. So I've already done this. I'm just going to use dash, uh, dash dash show to show me the cracked password. As you can see, we have the cracked password over here, which we can use to uh, SSH into the box. So we go, we're going to go ahead and copy this. SSH, uh, what was the user? Kamishiro at the IP address, which is right here. Um, it's going to ask for a password, which we already have. And voila, we're in. If we go ahead and run sudo l, you can see that. Uh, You can see that um, we can run a, a run a jail Python script uh, as root for all the users. So let's go ahead and cut out this file and see what it is. It's basically uh, defining a function, printing some stuff, asking for input, a text, and checks if there is any of these keywords in our text. And if it is, it's going to say, do you think I will let you do this and exit, quit the program else it's gonna execute the text okay again after running um, spending some time um, when i first initially was doing the box i found this great resource again right over here escaping python jails but th by uh, this gentleman or woman i don't know um, which says python allows us to use built-in objects using the built-ins module uh, which we can represent in di uh, directory representation as well. And we can actually uh, access any functions inside this built-in modules like this, right? So if you go ahead and copy this, try to sudo uh, dash L again, I'm sorry. If you go ahead and sudo this, come here and copy this again throw it into the script, you can see that the um, filter actually picked it up because we have uh, one of the keywords open uh, over here, uh, here, it picked it up. But if you can use like uh, all caps and then the uh, dot lower function to like make it like open again, make it lowercase, uh, we can actually bypass this uh, filter if I can copy this. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it bypassed and um, actually executed the code just like this. 
So if, uh, if we scroll down here, we can actually import OS and run system commands uh, with the uh, OS uh, module. So if we copy this payload right here and again throw it into the uh, script, change the command, uh, the system command that we want to get executed by root because we're running it as sudo to be bin bash, we're gonna pop into a root shell as you can see right here. And just like that, we got root. Okay, this was it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment if you want me to do any of the boxes on try hack me. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.